Hey team, in this video, we're going to be looking at one of the most misunderstood data types in SQL Server, and that is the timestamp. Here you can see that I'm going to be creating a small table that includes the timestamp value, and we're going to try to understand what it does. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create the table, execute, refresh, and notice that we have the timestamp table. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an insert into that table. And before I do that, let's look at the value. Notice that there is no data in that uh, table. And you'll also notice that in the insert, I am not actually using the timestamp as one of my parameters. So when I execute an insert or an update, this column automatically changes. So I'm going to execute this statement. And then let's look at that timestamp. So as you can see, the timestamp got this value 7D6. That's in hexadecimal. Let me pull over a little calculator and see what that value is. Uh, clear uh, 7D6. So that value is 2006. And what we're going to do with that value is we're going to uh, we can also do that through SQL Server. So I can come down here and I can say cast that column as an integer. And I'm going to redirect that into integer value of TS from that table. And let's see if we get the same result. So we're getting 2006. And that is the current version. So when I go to update this table, notice that I'm going to be returning. Let's do a select star from here. When I'm, see how right now it's 001, I'm going to do an update and I'm going to change it to A01, where the ID is 11. Let me see what happens there. So I'm going to do an update. I'm going to select star from there. And notice that it changed a little bit. Now, if I take this cast, you'll see that it used to be 2006 and now it is 2007. So you see that every time I do uh, an insert or an update, that timestamp executes. Now, we cannot directly update the timestamp. You can see here, I have my table, I have my column, and I'm going to try to manually update it. It's going to tell me, uh, I don't think so. Very good. Cannot update timestamp column. Timestamp column has nothing to do with time. Zero. Zero information about time. The only thing it has in its use is concurrency, which I have another example that will explain that in the next video.